Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will create an overview page for all the meetings going on in our organization. And I'll do that at the HQ site collection. I'm just going to create a new page here, add a page. Call that meetings overview. Now, the HQ site is a different site collection than the sales and the IT site collections. That means that the content type that I've created must be in the content type hub, otherwise it won't be visible here. So what I want to do now is I simply want to do a search. I want to do that with a web part here under content rollup. I'm going to do a content search and I'm going to find all the meetings in my organization. And as you see, it's already finding my news items here since they are the latest ones added. But I'm going to make sure that I only get meetings, I do not get the news here. So I'm going to change the query. I'm going to show don't restrict results by app, I want everything. And I want the items matching a content type. And here's where the problem would have been if I had not created the content type in the content type hub. So I'm going to show all content types and here are the Contoso meetings. There we go, there's two meetings here, one in the sales meeting and one in the IT site. So that's exactly how it should be. And of course I want to sort those. I'm going to go to the advanced mode so I can do sorting and I want to have the latest created. So that will show me the latest ones first. All right, then I'm all done. Two lines works perfectly for this. And I could do the um, property mappings here also, so that the second line gets used for something meaningful. So I'm going to change the mappings of the managed properties. And here I'll take the um, chairperson. Let's see if we can find that here. Those are, of course, in um, alphabetical order. Chairperson, OVS user, that's fine. So I didn't actually put any chairperson in there. So if I had had a chairperson underneath there, that would have shown up. That concludes my demonstration. I'm just going to save this now. And here are my meetings from, from the entire organization. Of course, I can go ahead and put the link here also. Get that over there, maybe. Meeting overview. And then we're all done. So on the HQ site, we now have an overview page with all the meetings going on in the organization. Next step is going to be creating a search vertical so that you can search in all the meetings that are going on in the organization. Thank you for watching this demonstration.